from energy to electricity. Batteries. Batteries are a triumph of science. They allow smartphones and other technologies to exist without anchoring us to an infernal tangle of power cables. A battery cell is made up of three components. The first one is the anode that has a negative charge. The second one is the cathode that has a positive charge and the electrolyte. In the dry cell, zinc is the anode, ammonium chloride paste acts as an electrolyte, the graphite core is the cathode. Electrons are the key of electricity. Due to a chemical reaction within the battery, the anode builds up an excess of electrons. This causes an electrical difference between the anode and the cathode. It turns out that electrons just wanna be happy and for electrons happiness is being at a lower energy level. The electrons would want to rearrange themselves and displace the extra electrons in the cathode. Okay, so think like this. Let's say that the high energy level is like studying all day at school and low energy level is like sitting and know stress-free. If your teacher said Hey, would you wanna stay at home and still get high grades for not doing nothing? Who wouldn't do that? Well, electrons do the same thing. For electrons, stay in the high energy level, that is the anode, is like studying in a high stress environment and staying in a low energy level, that is the cathode, is like sitting at home and getting good grades for nothing. A battery basically gives electrons a path to a happy stress-free life, but makes them work for it. Without the electrolyte, the electrons go from the anode to the cathode without producing anything, so if we want to produce electricity, we have to add a barrier that forces them to take a detour. When the circuit is closed with the help of a conductive path between the anode and cathode, the electrons are able to travel to the cathode. This in turn provides power to any appliance placed along the way. Even the best batteries will diminish daily slowly, losing capacity until they finally die. Over time, this electrochemical process alters the chemical makeup in the anode and the cathode, and eventually they stop providing electrons. And this is how a battery dies. There are a lot of different kinds of batteries. Now. Alkaline battery, voltage pile, lithium battery. But they are all based on the same concept. A battery is a device that is able to store electrical energy in the form of chemical energy and convert it into electricity. To produce power we have to connect the anode to the cathode. Let's try an experiment. To do this experiment we need a gum wrapper, an AA battery and a piece of toilet paper.